This property has four bedrooms, five bathrooms, 3,810 square feet of living space, is on a lot over 11,000 square feet, and is listed at 4,275,000. Set on the best cul-de-sac street in the Oaks of Los Feliz, this exquisite, worn, modern new construction home offers an array of earthly elements, including rich wood and natural stone finishes throughout. This property is a smart home with Control 4 home automation system that controls the lights, speakers, air conditioning, pool, and more. A fun fact about John Marshall High School, a high school located in Los Feliz, is the high school's athletic field provided the setting for the school carnival where John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John fly off in a hot rod in the 1978 movie, Grease. Annette Charles, who played Cha-Cha in the film, was an alumna, and a family fun fact is my grandmother also attended John Marshall High School. Hello everyone, my name is Sierra Schatz and welcome to our channel, Lustrous Locations. Today we are at 554 Green Oak Drive in Los Angeles and we are very excited to show you our tour, but first and foremost, we will thank the listing agents Orr and Shai Brodsky at Compass for allowing us to tour their beautiful listing. So let's go check it out. The first thing that I want to point out is this is a warm, modern design. And what I mean warm, modern is usually a lot of modern houses, they're not as cozy, not as warm, so what they did is they added IPE wood to the facade of the house and they have walnut floors throughout the interior. This is a pour-in-place driveway that has artificial grass, a two-car garage, and a two-car driveway. You have some beautiful regular landscaping and some drought-friendly landscaping. And you have a large, long frosted glass window with a 90 degree corner window over there. And we will get to that in a second. And one of my favorite things about this house is this very large door. It is six feet wide and 10 feet tall. And it is a pivot door. So we are going to come through your very large pivot door and land in your foyer area. You have some beautiful abstract paintings that are to my left that are throughout the entire property and you have an over 20 foot ceiling and what you have on your 20 foot ceiling is a David Grappi chandelier design and if you take a look at it it's pretty much chain mixed with chandelier so a play on words uh, and there are no wires so that's pretty cool to my right we have some soft closed storage right here and we are coming into the powder room you have granite drastic gray countertop your frosted glass window that is behind your large mirror your dots, oof, your dot suspension light with recessed lighting and from here we'll come into the office. You have some more soft closed storage and this area has great light. You have a view through your 90 degree corner window to the mountains across the street. Great place to put a plant because of that light I was talking about. And this could act as an in-law suite or an Airbnb. And I'm sure some of you guys are like, oh, if you could afford that house, why would you Airbnb your room out? Well, you know, it's a good way to meet people. I used to take in exchange students, so that's a cool way to meet people around the world. But if this was your bedroom, you can mount your TV on that side of the wall. You have recessed lighting, and this is an ensuite. You have a blue travertine countertop under floating wood vanity. And I like this tile design a lot. This is Lombardi Grigio tile throughout the walls and the floors. You have this cool mirror wall scone, so you can adjust, you can have a little dance party in here. <laughs> you have some recessed lighting. You also have these really cool push to turn on faucets. And in your glass shower, you have a handheld shower head, bench seating, and you have a floating Duravit toilet. We will head to the upstairs area. Into the section of the house where most of the bedrooms are. And we are going to head up your floating solid wood stairs with your custom wrought iron and steel railing. And one thing I want to point out is, I don't see this in a lot of houses, but I like the foot lighting 
that is along your staircase. And what they did here is they put one piece of artwork here. Of course, you can put multiple, but I like how they utilize that space. And we're going to come up to the mid level of the house where you have the remainder of your bedrooms. To my right, we have the primary bedroom. Straight ahead, we have another bedroom. And then we have laundry room, hangout room, hangout area, and another bedroom. And I think I've mentioned before, but I'm an animal lover, so <laughs> I love what they did with this artwork. They made it into two pieces of this room. So pretty cool. We are going to walk on your walnut wood floors to your hangout area. And you can make this another office or you can make out a kid's study area or just leave it as a hangout area. But you have recessed lighting, a piece of artwork in front of me where you can mount your TV. You have a wraparound balcony and a view to your backyard. And then you have a nearly floor to ceiling window with a view to the hills and the neighborhood. From here, we will go into the laundry room. You have more contemporary storage to your left, recessed lighting, blue travertine countertops with stainless steel sink. You have light gray, soft touch, frameless cabinets. And then you have arena block mist porcelain tile on the floor. We will come into another bedroom. And this bedroom has a view of the front yard and the hills that actually have a hike you can do to the Hollywood sign. View of the neighborhood, recessed lighting, same contemporary storage, a lot of storage in this room. And I'm gonna give my friend Ty and Eddie at Double Six Ranch a shout out. They do some cool stunt work out there in Apple Valley, so it's for you, Ty. <laughs> this is an ensuite. You have the same mirror wall sconce, a circular large mirror, which I have seen they have been using a lot in staging, very popular right now. You have a frosted glass window, nearly floor to ceiling that looks out to your front yard. And you have the Lombardi Grigio tile design on the floor with your arena block mist porcelain wall tile design. Glass shower, regular and handheld shower head and some bench seating. Recessed lighting and we'll head into the primary bedroom. We're going to head into the primary bedroom along the same walnut wood floors. You have an exit to your shared balcony through your large sliding glass doors. And this house is wired for sound, so you have speakers, you have your recessed lighting, you have three windows, blackout shades. And my favorite thing about this primary bedroom is this very large Palisandro marble slab, floor to ceiling, uh, fireplace, contemporary linear fireplace built-in wood shelves with the same marble backsplash. And what I like about this fireplace is the same marble slab meets with the Lombardia Grigio tile design. We're going to pass your frosted glass wall to your toilet for some privacy and head into your walk-in closet. And your walk-in closet has the walnut wood flooring with dark wood paneling, a lot of shelf space. You have strip lighting underneath your shelves. And I liked this nearly see-through dark glass cabinet. Recessed lighting and the first thing I notice in this beautiful primary bathroom is the freestanding tub that has a great picturesque view of the hills and the neighborhood and your backyard. You have a very large shower. You have two shower heads, two handheld shower heads, bench seating. You have the same arena mist tile. You have the same marble countertop on your floating wood vanity with double vessel sinks, very large piece of glass, and a contemporary light fixture above your vanity, which I love. And this spot, um, this won't relate to everyone, but because it's bat lit, you have very great lighting in here to do your makeup or you know to check your, check your style out. <laughs> we will head over to your shared balcony. And this shared balcony, this is pretty unique. I haven't seen this uh, other than in pools, but this is 
a Pebble Tech flooring design. And you can sit here, relax. Uh, you have a plaster linear fireplace. And you have these areas up here that can let in some sunlight. You have recessed lighting. You can even drape um, maybe some white drapes here, add a little Mediterranean vibe to it. You can mount a TV right here. And you have a view of your backyard. And earlier, we actually saw a deer right up here. So view of your pool, view of your barbecue. You can hang out here with a little more privacy if your guests are over. And we will head upstairs to your rooftop deck. And we will close your very large sliding glass door. And we will head upstairs past one of your other bedrooms. I will get that on the way down. Past your chandelier. And you can just stand here, admire the hills across the way. And we will head up the 180 degree switchback stairs. And this is another spot you can put some artwork. Great lighting here with your recessed lighting. And we will come to your rooftop deck through your glass door. And you have another window right here where you can have a view of the Hollywood Sign Mountains. And this rooftop deck, Sophie, you're breathing kind of hard there. <laughs> this is also Pebble Tech flooring, custom wrought iron railing. And you have exquisite views, if you haven't already been able to tell. It's also wired for a home projection system and sound. So you can sit up here, enjoy some movies, you know, camp, maybe your kids can camp up here. I know when I was younger, I would always camp out on my trampoline because <laughs> it was nice to be outside. Uh, you can sit here, even put a larger table. You know, this is great for parties. You have a 360 degree view of the neighborhood. You also have a beautiful fire pit and some bench seating next to your fire pit. And these same lights that were along your staircase are also out here on your deck. We're going to head downstairs to the next bedroom and you even have some storage, we won't go over here, but you have some space you can put some additional things you wanna store or you can just leave it as is. We are going to head into the last bedroom. And this is my favorite bedroom along with the primary bedroom because what the developer did that was very smart is they decided to utilize nearly this entire wall with glass. So you have your sliding glass door, you have your 90 degree corner window, and you have your own private balcony. You have the same Pebble Tech flooring with your wrought iron railing. View of your hills, a little to my left, you can't see it, but that would be the Hollywood sign over there. Recess lighting, put a couch out here, keep your chairs out here, and you can mount a TV right here or leave a piece of artwork. A lot of storage, and this ensuite has the same blue travertine countertop on your floating wood vanity. Circular mirror design, I mentioned that Safi is trying to hide right now, unless he's a vampire. <laughs> Orchid staging, mirror sconce, and you have the same arena mist tile in the shower and the Lombardia Grigio tile design on the wall and the floor. And we will head to the remainder of the house. And here is your two-car garage next to your home automation system. You have an epoxy floor finish. And all the staging in this house is by Interior Illusions. And I loved these two pieces underneath your floating staircase. 
And Safi and I were joking earlier that if we can fit in here and not tip over, this would be a great hiding spot. <laughs> you still have a lot of space under here for storage or more artwork. You have blue travertine countertop with backsplash, backsplash glass shelves with strip lighting underneath and built-in wood paneling storage area. And Safi and I were searching for his mics that he hid and lost for 30 minutes prior to filming. <laughs> and this is your dining area. You have a triple black and gold light wall chandelier above your dining room table. And as you can see, this is already a large table. However, you can fit an even larger table here. Enjoy it during the rain. Open your very large sliding glass doors. Or you can sit there and enjoy it during the summertime or all year round. And this property was developed by the very experienced and talented Aria Building Group. And we are heading to the kitchen. You have a Scavellini kitchen, and this is a Chepo Antico waterfall island underneath your suspension light. You have three stools here. It looks like you could fit four. You have a lacquer finish on the paneling. And if you check this out, this is your freezer. You push to open it. And you also push to open your fridge. You have a speed microwave slash oven, two ovens, a coffee maker, which I love. Here's your fridge. Push to open. A lot of storage space. The same Chepo Antico marble on your backsplash and counter over here with your sink. And I love this frameless window. You have a view of your side yard. And these are all Mealy uh, appliances. This is a Mealy induction stovetop. So, pretty cool. From here, we will come into your family area. You have a floor-to-ceiling linear blue travertine fireplace where you can mount your TV, a lot of recessed lighting wired for sound, and I love how they utilize the space, uh, the staging utilizes the space. They added a mirror for, to open up the space, you know, make it look larger, and they put these two super cool paintings right here that are nearly symmetrical. And these are S-shaped, aluminum pocket doors. So if you were to open all of your sliding glass doors, they would give you that optimal in and out door experience. And one thing I also want to point out about the position of this fireplace is it kind of still sections off, uh, gives you a little privacy from your backyard, but sections off the family area from your backyard and the remainder of the house. So we will head into your backyard. And one thing I want to point out before I mention the rest of the backyard is this uh, is kind of unique to me, <laughs> but the transition from the artificial grass to the real grass is pretty nice. Usually I can tell artificial grass very easily, but I kind of had to stop and stare at this one. So you have the property line uh, beneath this retaining wall that reaches almost the top of the hill. You have some mature ficus hedges that were planted for some more privacy. You have a stucco, plaster, and wood barbecue area right here. Stainless steel grill, stainless steel grill, uh, stainless steel sink, and stainless steel beverage fridge. A lot of space. There are four bar stools here, which is next to an area that is a seating area. However, you could stick another fire pit here or leave as is. And you have your 26 by 13 pool with a spa and a Baja sitting area in the pool. So you have some tile on the inner edge of your pool and on your spa. You have two exits on both sides of the house. It looks like you could even fit four lounge chairs here or you can add a fire pit here so people in your pool and jacuzzi can enjoy it. And you have a dining area here with some recessed lighting. And this is already a large table, but it looks like you could fit an even larger table here or put some chairs out. But that concludes our tour. Again, I'm Steer Shots with Less Just Locations, and we love and really appreciate the support you guys have been showing so far. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section. I know some of you have been asking about Safi's camera equipment, so that is below in the description. And if you would like to contact me to buy this property or buy, sell, invest in real estate, you can also contact me through my site below in the description. And any likes or subscribes, we'd really appreciate. And we are excited to show you what we have next.
for. You're not scared? No, it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> I got that on camera, you liar! <laughs> You're not scared? <laughs> no? <laughs> it was so loud! <laughs> It was so nice. I knew that was gonna happen too. I was like, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. He's gonna jump out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not scared, no. Ah! <laughs>